The Kenya Airways inaugural non-stop flight from Nairobi to New York took off amid fanfare on the 28th of October 2018, becoming the first direct flight from Eastern Africa to land at the JF Kennedy Airport. In an exclusive interview with Charms Media, the Chief Executive Officer of the JF Kennedy International Airport Terminal 4 said the route is an important addition in its network development. From a business perspective, is is very important destination. Uh, also, uh, uh, secondly, as a tourist destination, it is it is high on the calendar of a lot of people. On the other hand, I think from the U.S. to connect to Nairobi and to Kenya, it gives the Americans a very good opportunity to visit the beautiful country of Kenya and also uh, the rest of Africa. On a recent Kenya Airways flight from New York to Nairobi we got an opportunity to interview one of the captains in charge, George Ayuga, on his field one year on. It's been an excellent experience. Uh, it's quite a lot to learn, a lot of exposure, a lot of new experiences. As at October 28, 2019, the national carrier has flown to and fro JFK 594 times and flown over 105,000 passengers. I was proud that we have a a direct flight uh, to, to Kenya uh, that I could come from New York and uh, head to our motherland without stopping in Europe for long hours, sleeping in a, or wandering around into the hallways of Europe. It was a nice one because you take dinner in Nairobi and then you take breakfast in New York. The flight is good, but they should improve on communication and customer service. I'm saving a whole day. Uh, which is, makes me a lot more productive and also not being on a plane for as you know two long flights the convenience of just having had a good sleep on one flight Kenya Airways commenced with mixed number of frequencies then from December 10th 2018 it started operating daily flights from 14th January 2019 it reduced the flight to five times a week then reverted to seven times a week from 24th June. Right now we have uh, 15 destinations beyond New York, which means that you can fly from Nairobi to those 15 destinations through New York without changing your ticket. We want to expand that. So that is our plan is over in 2020 to expand the number of destinations that we have cooperate with Delta. I mean, and in business class, it's full every night. In economy, it's, 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 it's almost full, 65 to 85% uh, full every night. The airline serves connecting passengers from over 34 African countries. Nigeria tops at 16.3%, followed by South Africa, Uganda, Tanzania, and Congo. But how is it performing business-wise amid the airline's loss-making reports? This is the airline business is very different from many other businesses. It takes time to make money. In, uh, in, in this case of New York, we said in 12 months we start to break even. Well, actually, we broke even in eight months. It's the best initiative we had. It, it's good for business. Uh, it's good for the image of, uh, of Kenya. And it's good for us in Kenya Airways that we believe that uh, in challenging times, we can still enter uh, the most difficult market, be present, and prove that we have our place on it. The success of the flights, according to the Kenya Civil Aviation Authority, is an important statement about the safety of Kenya's airspace. There has not been a single incident of security-related uh, occurrence. We're proud of that. And KCA, in the oversight role of security, aviation security in this country, is proud of what Kenya Airports Authority has done. We're proud of the airline, Kenya Airways. And that's Kenya Airways, Nairobi, New York, one year on. From Charms Media, I'm Alex Chamada for KTN News.